anyway, so, uh, but I bring that up because we also, he and I would talk about Star Wars often. And anytime that I would see one of these new movies coming out, whether it, it was uh, the, the Force Awakens or Rogue One, you had had a chance to check it out. You had had a chance to, you know, you, you knew about it and you, you kind of got your endorsement out there of, of the movies and kind of how you geeked out about it with like JJ. And um, so my question is, you're, you're pretty tight with Star Wars and you're pretty tight in there. Like, and Mandalorian to me is the best thing that we have gotten since Jedi. That's my, that's my, Fuck yeah. yeah. And it, it just, it's that, it's that feel when you and I were growing up. You know, do you know what would fuck Mandalorian up though? What's that? Kevin Smith jumps in. I don't know, but but is that true though? <laughs> but what if they have what if they have an episode? You look at what they've done with all these different directors and what they've done. Right. Like I could put his own spin to it. And to me, that's what fucking classic Star Wars was. It was different directors. Whether or not you believe Marquand directed the, the Jedi or not, that's up to you. But like the the point is that uh, there were different directors telling the same story inside of it. And that's why I say combine with the the new with the old because it's an old IP like Star Wars, but it's new timelines it's new stories it's new shit that we hadn't seen yet so you would never want to get involved with mandalorian because you're afraid you fuck it up here if they were like we want you to be in the mandalorian yeah fucking heartbeat i'd yeah. kill all of you to be in the Mandalorian. <laughs> but if they called to be like would you like to direct a mandalorian like i wouldn't react as fa i would literally talk it over with everybody i know yeah because I love that show. And, you know, there are many things that I've loved over the course of my career that because of my career, I've been able to gravitate toward. For example, I love Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High. When they made Degrassi The Next Generation, I got to gravitate toward it and, and be in it. Um, I fucking, uh, you know, in season two, started watching The Flash and fell in love with it, man. Like fucking, I watched uh, the season one uh, season finale and shot a video of me watching it because Jason Muse was like, you're going to watch the season finale? I said, yeah. He goes, you better, sh he goes, shoot yourself watching it. I said, why? He goes, because you're going to cry and it's lovely when you cry. So I watched it and I did fucking ball and I fell in love with it and I wound up directing some episodes of Flash and directing some episodes yeah. of Supergirl. Now, what I learned while doing, I did four episodes of Supergirl. I look this way because I've got pictures hanging on the wall that tell me this. Four episodes of Supergirl, three episodes of Flash. What I, and, and I loved him each and every time. It was so fucking fun. Those episodes shoot, let's see, eight days with a ninth swing day. Yeah. So in, in eight days, you've shot most of the episode, if not all, and they leave a ninth swing day, which they always inevitably need for effect shots. So that's where you put Melissa up on the green screen and hoist her up and stuff like that. That's the ninth day of your show. It's time so that on your ninth day, you know, they're starting day one of the next episode and stuff. It's an assembly line. So it's only nine days that you're involved. And for, you know, I, when I got there, I was like, look at this motherfucker in the suit. It looks amazing. Like, he's fucking flash. This is great. I love this show. I love being here. I love being around the, the energy, not just the actors, but the crew. They're all fucking Canadians. And I love Canadians. So we were in Vancouver and shit. Everyone's like gossipy, but not in a shitty way, just about other movies that have come through. So you could be like, you worked on fucking X-Men 2? And they'll tell you shit and whatnot. This is fun for a person that loves that country. But inevitably, inevitably, each and every time, even the first time I did it, by day six or seven, I go, we're not fucking done yet? Like, we're still shooting this thing? Right. Like, fucking... Let's hurry up. I just, I don't, I don't really have like patience. I also don't have vision. Like, you know, fucking look at what Taika did with that fucking IG 11 sequence. Yeah, right. Like, right. Hey, Yoda, <laughs> that's beautiful, man. Like, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. That's visionary. I don't have visions like that. Even now, I've seen the show. Like, it's not like, oh, you know what they should do? I don't have any ideas. And just because I love a thing, don't mean that I should necessarily be involved in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Star Wars, but they've been doing quite well without me for, for many, many years. Um, I love them Marvel movies, but I'll be damned if I'll be anywhere near the one that fucking goes bad because I did it. 